guys welcome back it's been a while since i made a video but you know i just graduated and stuff anyway today we'll be installing demon eyes on the burrs now these are the things you need here you need uh 10 mil socket screwdriver this to reseal the headlights back up and then of course the demon eyes and the drink of your choice <laughs> let's get to the car first thing you gotta do is you see these bolts right here you got one this is where the 10 mil is one there there here 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 and there remove those and then there's another one here so and then you see these little clips here. These, you need to use the flathead screwdriver and just pry those up. And there's, let's see, two on top here. We gotta remove the front bumper to get to the headlights. So I'll do that now. side markers and I'll do that real quick here and there's also some more bolts some more screws down here I'll show you real quick they're like little pop screws right there and there and then those two so there's a few uh, of those pop things like this underneath the bumper and you're gonna, you're gonna want to take those out and uh, yeah, after that, the bumper should just come off. And then you can just keep on going because I'm gonna do the time lapse. Mm hmm. Actually, never mind, Papa. Now that we got the bumper off, now it's time to move the headlight. And the reason we had to take the bumper off is because there's a headlight bolt right here, and there's another one under here. We have to take unscrew to get the headlight off. But if you want to come here, <clears throat> make sure that you unplug all the wires from, for the headlight itself. So if that would be this one here, this one, and this is the main headlight right here. And you want to unplug both of those before you pull this off or you're gonna damage some wires. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. So what you gotta do next, see I already had a pair installed, but I'm just replacing them because they were cheap. But anyway, you wanna remove these screws here. There's two, three, four, five, six. Six screws you wanna take off. And then after that, you want to put them the headlights in the oven and um, yeah we'll be in there in a sec all right so we're at the oven now and you want it to be 225 degrees and we'll keep it in there for 10 minutes and make sure there's no wiring touching the, any part of the oven um, <clears throat> all this is okay to stay on just had to remove those six screws and then I'll be right back when it's done the oven. All right, so you just came out of the oven now. You just wanna kind of pry, pry away. So you don't want to touch anything really. But once they're off, you want to take this screw, this screw, that screw, 
and take that off. That'll remove this plastic cover. And we'll do that real quick. There's two more actually, sorry. Right there and there, in, in, inside there. Move those. Then it should come off. There's the boomerang. If you can, you can uh, take this time too. If you want to paint yours black like I did, make it look even better. But this is what we're after right here: the projector. And here's the old set I have in there. So you won't have these, obviously. Here's the new one. I'm gonna route this through the hole behind here. This hole. Put that this wire through there. And let me go get the mounted brackets. optional to get the brackets with it. I recommend you do get them because it makes it a lot easier. All right, so there is, let me take this off real fast. I just wanna make sure it fit, but right here. So after you route that wire through the back for the demon eye, It also, it comes with this little piece here, like a triangle type thing, but it's a reflector, you see. So it basically just reflects the LED light on this out the projector. So after you get this wire routed in here, what you want to do is angle it in like that. And then there's two holes here. You see, one there, one here, and that's where you want your bracket to go on to. So, line it up, and you put the screws in, in there. Line it up. And again, you don't want to touch that projector lens at all. So, you screw those in like this.
Because those are snug. And that's it. So it's installed in there. And then what you want to do is do the same thing before. Put this stuff back in there. Line everything back up. Make sure it's seated properly. Then just screw the screws back in. And if you're if you are painting this, I recommend you get some kind of paint that's high heat because these HID lights that are in there from the factory get pretty hot. You don't want your paint to melt inside here. That would not be a very happy ending for you. But once you get these screws in here, you don't want to over tighten these either because you can snap the plastic. Put those in. And then don't forget to plug this back in. Your turn signals. Make sure everything okay, you didn't get anything in here. And then, so for this, you kind of want to clean some of this stuff off before you put it back on. But, and the way to put it back on is you get this material here, grab it real quick. get this ultra black stuff and you want to just go all along here on the the base of it not the the lens on the base and then once you do that push it in and let it let it just sit overnight I mean you can still drive your car but I wouldn't but I believe it takes yeah 24 hours to cure so just do it overnight, you should be okay. Oh, and if you want to paint this part too for the turn signals and stuff just unscrew the screws on this lens but after you do that just want to make sure everything's okay here and you just want to press it into place And there's these little clips right here. You want to get those over. Once you got it good, you want to screw it back on. It's messed up. You get it on anything, you can just wipe it off. Not a big deal. Just want to do it before it cures, or else you'll be in a world of trouble. Okay. Screw these on real quick. So here's the finished product here. Once you got all the wiring up, so I had to do, take one from here. Oh, and when you put these caps back on, I recommend you put some of that ultra black stuff, make it watertight. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I routed my wire all the way under here. And the controllers here, 
I had to find a place to put that, but I just did a tap the wire from the battery and connected it here. And then, of course, you gotta ground it. But yeah, so that's that's the finished product right there. And if you download uh, the Morimoto app, you can uh, change the colors and all. It's pretty cool. And that's the Bluetooth control I have. It's from Morimoto as well. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got some coilovers that I just need to install. And I'll make a video on that as well. Stay tuned. See you next time.